Hi guys and welcome. This is going to be your June 2020. What aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of a Libra? Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be from the time frame of the 7th through the 13th. The dates are for me, the message is for you. Okay? All right. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams. Let's go into your video. Your video was called last week. Hold on. I apologize for not having it up. It is called, they're grieving over losing you. They want to love you better. If you are new here with me and have not watched that video, it is linked below. The five card collective bonus reading for element is available below for purchase. Okay. The 1111 portal is closed. Okay. It is a special that I offer to new clients only. If you want to try me out, you like my energy, you want to give me a shot to see how accurate I can be. And if I connect with your energy in a personal reading, that special is for you. It comes back once a month. It is $11. It will be done on the 11th of the month and it is monthly. Okay. I call you, you guys read those confirmations. Okay. Um, so I got a comment guys. I've been saying this in every video where someone felt the need to critique me and tell me that I'm not charging enough for my readings. I said it's an 1111 special. I don't need you coming on my channel telling me how to run my business. I'm just telling you uh, readings by Marvelous Madame. My name is Marv. <laughs> it's not readings by Marvelous Madame. That's how I know you don't watch me. So you don't watch the content. But you felt the need to give me financial advice. I don't, I don't know you. Like, <laughs> I did not grow a business. You don't know what. <laughs> that is my way of giving back. I know what spirit guided me to do. I don't need you to tell me this. <laughs> yeah, guys. I, I'm going to talk about him in every video. I was just like, who are you? <laughs> anyway. That's what that special is for. It will come back next month. So if you missed it and you want to book with me, that's your opportunity to do that. I do have other offerings, okay? Look below to get the code that fits your situation. Everything is on sale. Whether you're brand new and you want a reading that's a little bit longer, whether you want a video reading, those are on sale. Keep those in mind, guys, when you're booking those readings, please. I don't want you to cheat yourself. Let's go. All right. Hello to my members. Consider membership, guys. And if you're returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe. And what's good, fam bams? If I did not finish that, I got on my tangent. All right. This is the illuminated tarot in my hand. We're going to be finding out what's in your heart space with this particular um, deck. Normally, you guys know I use an oracle. We are doing illuminated tarot this month. I normally break this out every retrograde, Venus retrograde especially. Um, when we're having some energy that is tough for us to get through, this is my go-to deck because we can get a lot out of it. So we're going to go ahead and get started and find out what they're not telling you. Um, your one card, um, one card reading, your um, companion one card reading for Instagram is below. And you will probably be looking at last week's reading, uh, last week's card, but you will see your card in the next couple days. Show me spirit. No, I'm not taking it. You know, I've been having to start everybody's reading again. Show me spirit, universe, spirit, angels. Nope. And my guides show me for Libra and their person. All right. Nope. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Show me spirit. Come on now. This isn't the week that everybody's going to go crazy. All right. Mm -mm. But I am going to take those for the top. Two of cups. This is also the temperance card. That's how I know that there has been some bad behavior. Your partner wants you to know that it's about you and them. Two cups. 
water going back and forth. That back and forth is indicative of infinity. Okay. Two. Oh, and you are number two. Hey. But I want you to know that there, I'm going to take both of these that I put down and we can infuse it into the message. First and foremost, this is the same card that tried to come out in your heart space between you and your person. It came out for Taurus. I said, no, stop the video, shuffled again, and the damn car came right back out. So everybody is not being able to sleep, <clears throat> have thoughts and things going on in your head that's keeping you up at night. That could be what's going on. And then there's some clarity that's needed. There's some things that they want to know. Now, um, they this person does look like they're having a hard time sleeping. So this can be a continuation of last week. I don't know. I don't like to do that. But if you are new here and want to watch that video, it's below. This is also the initiation of love. Again, they really want you. They want this. Okay. That's what I'm seeing now. Let's find out what they're wanting clarity on in that queen of swords. Let's find out you had to put some boundaries up about something, or, um, there is a sword of truth. Um, there is some truth and clarity on the situation between you guys that needs to be, um, it needs to be ironed out. Um, and I'm noticing that as we are in shadow mercury retrograde, every card now last week, was good. Everybody was doing good. But I see now starting this week's energy, we are into these swords. We can't sleep at night. We're in shadow. Okay. Tarot, grand lux is what this is. Show me spirit. There we go. The lovers. So deep spiritual connection with you is on the brain, honey. Okay. That's what they, I instantly got love on the brain. I believe that was the cancer video. So far, the energies are definitely Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as well as Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, and a little bit more Gemini. <clears throat> they got, they, they got you. I just really need your ass with me. Yes, but they are trapped. In the thoughts in their head, they are in a mental prison. They want to say so much, but they're afraid. What in the, see, look at this. They're hanging upside down. What fell? Is this my 1111? Or is that horrifying? Yes. They're killing themselves on the inside. Sort of, oh, look at that. Look, looky, looky. Their choices here, things that they have to decide. Um, there are some things that is coming across in this seven of cups energy where they know that it's not a viable option. Maybe they're considering, and you see top of the deck are both swords. Okay, both swords. Heart space, both swords. There's some things that are going on that they did. Temperance energy is about them actively doing something. And right now, they're trying to go to the higher them. Taurus, no matter which way they go, they're reminded of you. They can smell you. Everywhere they go is all about Taurus. You look good. You can cook. You can sing. All types of stuff. And when that energy is this strong, there is a, there's a fear here. I can't wait to clarify this. There is a fear. Hold the phone. Let me make sure she's temperance. She may be the, hold on, because, uh, hold the phone. I love that behavior card. I like where I was going with this. But she may be something else. And then we gonna stop, collaborate, and listen. Hell yeah, she's the temperance. <laughs> and I used to always call her something else, because Caitlin, I'm telling you, Caitlin um, Keegan, the illustrator and author of this deck, you know, I just, I love blended decks and I love her interpretation. And some of these cards really stump me and it challenges me and I love it. I love this deck. Again, this was the deck I started my channel on, but I look at this and I'm like the two of cups and the temperance It's balancing those cups out. And it's been a lot of balance going on here. They're so damn scared toward uh, uh, Libra. 
What are they afraid of? They have some choices to make. Ooh, because you can be the one. When you're around, I can see so clearly, even through the rain. Mm. Something about the way, way that you hold me, keeps me into you. That is why I know, gotta be the one for me. I'm sorry. Calling your dogs now, the one. Woo! So they are up. Can't sleep. Now, I don't see though. Let me see what happened. Ugh. So something with the getting to know you. They're hiding parts of them and you refuse. They ref you refuse to allow them to continue to hide themselves when those cracks and crevices is what you needed. You opened up, they didn't. And they are afraid to open up. Let me tell you something, Libra. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you like this, fellow Libras. Listen, I'm, I'm Libra Rising and Libra North Node. God's rejection is his protection. So once you start to accept that there may be some things that you don't need to know, you may be okay. Um, and tell him that. Tell her that. Don't keep that truth to yourself. People don't like that. That When you let tell somebody that, that's worse than calling them a B-I-T-C-H or saying F them. Listen, say, you know what? Spirit is compelling me to accept this because his rejection or this rejection is his way of protecting me. You, the people want to fight you. <laughs> I'm telling you, you be, they get so offended. And this person, and we're going to figure it out, but... Is this a person that refuses to tell you what happened in their past? You let me know in them comments. They're getting all of the signs that it's safe for them to open their heart. Didn't I just get through telling you that they wasn't opening their heart? And then what's clarifying my temperance? The very sh that they need to change? Opening their heart. <laughs> it is safe for them to love and they're scared to death of it. This it's like they're in leap and in, in Taurus's energy from last week. Open your heart to open and receive the highest energy of all. I'm letting you know they're in hay man mode, but not because they don't know what to do. They're in hay man mode because they know when they open their heart, it changes everything. You have um, um, seeped into some creases. And you know how I am, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, my hair is poking me. You, your love have, has sunken into some creases all up in their spirit and got them thinking like, oh, why am I longing for Libra? Because if it was that easy for them to walk away from you, they would have done it already. Clarify, hang man, they're in upside down enlightenment. They're choosing to be non, take some non-action because they're trying to get out of that residual energy that didn't have a darn thing to do with you with this release your ex. Here we go with this again. Here we go with this again. You ain't nothing like the ex, but they opened their heart. They're op they opened their hearts. They did. And just to give you some context, when they did that, dear Libra, they got completely screwed. And I'm not talking about just screw, screw. She did a number or he did a number on her. Okay, depending on who we talking to here. And, we, you know, we have to take that into consideration. Again, if you're willing to look someone in the face and say, I love you, but I understand this isn't our time. And if we, that's very noble of you. People don't want that. People that are codependent want to hold on to you knowing damn well they're not giving you what you need. Break that cycle. Because it's only, listen, we all win. There's enough out there for us all to win. Why do you get to hold someone hostage? And Libra, 
after going through and going through and not getting what you wanted, it hurts you to walk away. So they're not considering your pain and what the hell you had to go through to even detach yourself from this. And that is what pisses me off. And, and especially when I see the fact that this person is not talking, they would rather stay up at night longing for you. Um, and then we have this residual energy from them having to release the ex and what they did. But instead of them sitting you down and saying, Libra, this person hurt me. They cut me to the core. Help me. It's like teach me how to love, Libra. Teach me how to love. Show me that I don't even know all of the words. Music soul child. They need that. Let's find out if they open to it, though. Make the effort. So they are channeling their beliefs right now. I, three major arcana and a five card reading. I mean, this is changing. You have to teach them how to love. They want you to. Now I'm seeing this. Okay. But yes, there is a lot of choices here. Um, I do not like this in their energy. Um, and they're staying up at night about it. And it's not, a, it's not, it's not a do I love Libra and do I want to be with Libra type of energy. Okay. It is very much so an energy. Okay. Hello. Is very much so an energy of do I allow myself to get got again? That's what it is. Do I allow myself to get got again? Do I trust her or him? Um, and, and you know, I also want you to pay attention to what you connect them with. Uh, the majority that's here is air. Are you connecting with fellow air? Because if it's earth, depending on what it is, they're going to tell you, listen, you may not like what's being said, but you're going to hear something. If it's an air sign, they not you, you should know that. They're not going to want to hurt your feelings. Enlighten. Okay, so now my tune is changing. Their crown chakra is being activated. They know that you're the one. They have the answers that they need. So the non-action here is them, them waiting to figure out what they're going to do because hey man energy knows exactly what it's going to do it's choosing all right here we go it's choosing this is a soul connection i'm going to get a sacred soul make card in one second for that um yes yeah, so you are the one they know that you're the one it's safe for them to love it's time for them to open up their heart and shine that love on okay turn that heart light on and shine. All right. So it fell. All right. Here we go. Uh, here we go. It, see, I was hoping I wasn't going to bump. Because then I don't want to knock my stuff down. Shine. Okay. They've been in the dark. They have wrapped their heart up in clovers. They wrapped their heart up. I wouldn't be surprised if Harden comes out like that, that black rose. Clarify, release your ex. Now, I did see clearing. They learn lessons. This was, that was a heavy lesson relationship. That was a heavy lesson relationship. And they are being guided. They are being guided right now. Although some of these things that they've went th through with you have been very triggering, they're being guided to keep going. And that is what is keeping them up. Uh, they are having major anxiety about getting hurt again. Major anxiety, not being able to sleep. Two cards came out. Breathe. Air sign. Here we go. That's what you're dealing with. You could be doing doing dealing with libra gemini or aquarius because that's a whole bunch of what's out here they can have it in their chart do your recon guys and find out who and what is controlling this person's emotions and their and their um their mars okay third eye ch chakra i told you in the beginning that they're searching for the truth right now the good thing is is when they find that truth when they open up the door to truth they're gonna see you standing there you the truth I'm looking at the smoke. You are the truth, Libra. You are the truth. And they don't know that yet, okay? They don't know it yet. Okay, so I went over a little bit. Where are my blockage cards? I'm just going to have to get the blockages in. Here we go. I'm going to have to get the blockages in the um, extension. But I've given you enough. 
So in closing, they have been afraid, obviously, mentally to come forward because of the shit that they went through with their ex. We have one, two, three, Major Arcana. We have one, two, two chakra cards. Major transformations here. It's major transformations. Major transformations, okay? And, okay, hello. And what they, okay, they didn't want to be in. And what they don't want you to know is, is that they're not taking their time because they don't love you. They're not, they're not taking their time or deciding not to do anything because of the love that they feel. They're taking their time because of the love that they feel, if that makes sense. Because this love, oh, I told you I was going to get a sacred. See what I'm talking about? This love, it has, it, it has hit them so deep, especially it, it's so deep that I, I don't even think that they knew that they could go there. I'm going to leave that one that failed. I don't think that they thought that they can even go that deep. Maybe that's what it is. Uh-huh. Yes. Lessons of Neptune. Denial, illusion, and deception of self or by another. Self-love, boundaries, and detachment are important. And this is exactly what they learned with dealing with this ex. Okay. Um, they shut them down and they really, um, hurt them really badly, but they do have a lot of energy here that they're open for these lessons. They want you to show them how to surrender their heart. They love you. They know now you're the one and they want you to teach them how to love like share, subscribe to the marvelous tribe. We're going to go ahead and finish this in the extension. Um, but for those of you who are done here, you're done here. I will see you next week when we do it again. Bye Libra.